Hello and welcome to the Compatibility Check and Retrofit Powerfold Mirrors Guide for a Ford Fiesta Mark 7 2008 onwards. The first thing we need to check is that your car will be compatible with the Powerfold Mirrors and one of the easiest ways to tell is to check your fuse box. Uh, to access the fuse box it's located behind the passenger glove box. Simply squeeze both of the sides inwards and pull down on the glove box at the same time and this should reveal the fuse box behind it. Now, if your fuse box looks like the one that's pictured here, unfortunately it will not be compatible and Powerfold Mirrors is not for you, or not very easily anyway. Um, good news, if yours looks more like this one, you're halfway there and you should be compatible. You need to check you've got the two relays in the bottom right hand corner, that is the left Powerfold Mirror and the right hand Powerfold Mirror. This is a picture of mine and here I have highlighted the relays in green so you can see them. So just make sure your car has these already or if you know somewhere that you can purchase them. Now another thing that we need to check is that your car already has the correct wiring loom installed. So I'm going to talk you through removing the passenger door panel and obviously the driver's side will be quite similar. Now first step is to remove the interior plastic handle. Um, ideally you need a plastic trim tool for this but I suppose a flat blade screwdriver could work as well either if you're really careful or maybe cover it with some kitchen towel. Just sort of work your way around the edge of the handle, um, leveraging out a little bit as you go, just until you've got enough, and then you can sort of get your fingers underneath and remove that plastic trim. Underneath here you should find two torque screws, so using your screwdriver, just use the anti-clockwise motion until they're all the way out. Next, inside the door unlock catch, you should see a small plastic circle. Uh, you're going to need a really tiny screwdriver for this one, a flat blade, just to get some leverage underneath it to sort of flick it out and then you can remove it with your fingers. Inside here is another torque screw, so again anti-clockwise until that's all the way out. Next is the electric window switch, now using a trim tool or equivalent. Just uh, sort of work your way around the edge, sort of leveraging up. Uh, it's only held in by plastic clips, so it should come out quite easily. Um, once that's out, you just need to push the tab in on the connector and remove the cables from the plug. And now for the door panel, this is only really held on by some poppers, uh, so simply start on one side, using a trim tool or equivalent, work your way all the way around the edge, leveraging out, um, until you can get your fingers underneath, then uh, sort of using very little uh, force, it should pretty easily come unclipped. You just hear it pop as you work your way right around until the other side. And then quite simply once all the poppers have been popped, just need to lift the door out of the window. You should see there's a the top edge of the door is hooked into the window. So just that just needs lifting directly upwards and over. Now that the door card has been removed, this gives us access to the plug for the mirrors. I've highlighted this in green. What we're looking for is the plug on the left hand side should have eight cables going to it. Now at the moment your plug on the right hand side which is coming from the mirror probably only has six. This is standard for an electrically operated heated mirror whereas your power fold mirror will have eight cables. So we need to check that there is definitely eight wires going to the left hand plug otherwise you probably don't have the loom that's required for it. Now when the time comes to replace the mirrors uh, removal and insulation isn't too bad. Um, you should see a rubber grommet that I've highlighted on screen there, so if you remove that you will find the nut that is holding the mirror in place. Simply undo that and the mirror will come away from the car, so you need to make sure you're holding it. Um, and simply undo the connector that I've shown you just a minute ago, um, feed that through the inside of the door and that will come straight off. Um, and then installation is just the reverse of that. Now as well as the power forward mirrors, you'll also need to purchase the driver's door switch, which is used for adjusting the glass and moving the mirrors in and out. These are available on eBay around £15 and they are used in other Ford models such as the Mondeo and Focus. Looking at the switches here, the one on the left will be your standard one and the one on the right is for the power fold mirrors. So easy way to check is that it has the little folding mirror symbol in the top center. Also looking at the back, power fold one will have eight contacts whereas the standard one will only have seven. Removing the switch is quite simple, just uh, simply pull it to one side and outwards, getting the trim tool in the gap to leverage it out, do the same on the other side. Now looking at the bottom of the switch you'll see that there is a tab that has been clicked into place. Just leverage your trim tool in between that um, until that is clear and then you can pull it out and then fitting the new one is simply the reverse of that. 
after this we'll need to look at activating power fold mirrors on the car which I shall explain in a future video but if you do have any questions in the meantime feel free to email me on the address on screen thanks very much for watching and I shall see you again soon